Hello and welcome back. I'm uh, out here with my OV scanner and trying to find a new new place to um, put my miner down. And uh, 1138. Goodness, that's really low. Walking around, looking at the ground. Oh, 84, 75. 91, 94, oh, this might be a good place to put one. Looks like this 94 right here. As you can see, I've got a lap pack on. That's uh, basically filling up, or using, uh, my, my OV scanner's using the, the energy from the lap pack. So I'm not actually using any of my energy on my lap pack, uh, my OV scanner down here. Okay, here it is. So we're gonna plop our miner down right here. And our chest. Got our LV transformer. My uh, MFE is over there. I'm gonna have to charge this up with a uh, bat pack to begin with. So I need to be able to drain my, my lap pack. Or drain my MFE, not my lap pack. There is quite a bit of power left in that thing. Put my jetpack on. I usually leave the cobble spots up here so I know where my miner's been before. We got 250,000. The lap pack will hold 300,000. I went ahead and looked that up. So we might just keep coming back here and charging things because I don't want to lose that much power. It's, it's a lot of power to lose. Maybe I got something in this uh, in this house to needs charging. I usually keep all my things pretty well charged, so that's probably not a good possibility. Hmm. Hmm. Don't think I've got anything that I need to charge. Those backpacks are all full. These are both full. That's full. Ah. It's a damn shame. Well, let's put something in the macerator real fast. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can use, use these lap packs down here to charge up these macerators while they go through. Hmm, I'm gonna get from that. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna cut the cable. Pow. Ah, <laughs> oh, but that one's still gonna be connected to the back box. That's just... Oh, the lap pack's not actually charging the macerator. So you gotta have a bat pack to charge the macerator. Well, learn something new every day. At any rate, uh, one of the things I want to talk about this episode is we're gonna start getting to some red power. If you notice, I've depleted all my dust and I've uh, just got ore now. And I've got a bunch of ore. What I want to do is I want to make a chest and just have all of the ores in the chest and I want to feed them directly into the macerators. And from the macerators, once they're done macerating the, du uh, macerating the ore and the dust, I want those to feed directly into these furnaces. And once the furnaces are done smelting the dust, I want them to feed directly back into a chest that's got nothing but bars. So I'm going to start out with a chest that's got nothing but ore, go into macerator, into the furnace, into a chest that's got, uh, it's got nothing but ore. So we're going to have to do some, some major reconfiguration here of, uh, of our uh, machines. And uh, before we start that, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't empty out that MFE and think about the way I want to set this all up. So give me just a minute and we'll be right back. Alright, so I got my miner back and working. 
And I came back and I thought about it, and I'm just going to kind of show a, a temp setup on how I want to do, uh, how you can do these uh, red power pipes, or, or not red power, but uh, build craft pipes and systems, and uh, using the redstone engines and the pipes. Uh, it, my place is just, it's it's too small. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to move. Uh, I'll probably be uh, working on a new, new house out there. Uh, before next episode, so uh, I actually have somewhere to put everything. But for now, we're just going to go over real quick how to do some uh, uh, redstone engines and some, some simple piping systems. So, we're going to start off by putting some ore in this chest. And we're going to want to make all the way out to here with, uh, with some bars. So, first thing we need to do is get the ore out of the chest and we're going to accomplish that by using some wooden transport pipes. I think I've got some in the project table. I got some wood. I'm going to need some glass. Uh, do we have glass? That's uh, common. There's some glass. And these are pretty easy to make. Use, but two pieces of wood and a piece of glass and you get wooden transport pipes. You don't need too many of these. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some stone transport pipes. We're going to need a little bit of stone real fast. About four stone should be enough for this, this little, little tutorial. Same thing, just stone on opposite side of a piece of glass. Alright, so we got wooden transport and stone transport. The next thing we're going to want to make is a redstone engine. And the good thing about these is they won't overheat like uh, steam engines or combustion engines. You can get some pretty major explosions if your combustion engine overheats. A uh, redstone engine only takes uh, a power signal from redstone, like a torch or a lever. Uh, it doesn't require anything else to go. It doesn't need water. It doesn't need uh, coal or fuel or any of that kind of stuff that you're going to need later on for steam and combustion engines. So redstone engines are pretty simple. It's just a piston, two wooden gears, a piece of glass, and a couple of wood. So let's make a couple of those. Is that the bottom? Oh, some wooden gears. I don't have any of those yet, so let's make some wood gears. And to make wood gears, it's just sticks in a little diamond shape. We're going to make four redstone engines. That should be enough for now. And we're going to need a couple of levers. pretty much all we need to uh, to start this out. The first thing you do, you put your wooden transport pipe next to your chest and you can see how it connects like that. Now if I had a stone transport pipe, it'll, it'll still connect, but I won't be able to pull anything out of it. That's where the wooden transport pipe comes in. So we're going to set our, our redstone engine down after. Now if you, you can break it with a, with a pickaxe, you can set redstone engines down like this in a pipe like this and it won't work. The engine, the, the blue part here, needs to be pointing at this guy. You can change that around with a wrench, but I generally just try to place them right the first time. Oops. And the best way to do that is just to place it after the pipe because it will automatically orient itself the correct way. I'm going to put a lever right there. We're going to turn it on once we get hooked up. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to put stuff in the top of here and then uh, we're going to take it out from the side. If we, if we put it into the side, it, it won't work right. We need to, we need to put it in from the top, because that's where that, that slot is up there that accepts materials. So we're going to route this up. There we go. And I'm just giving myself a little bit of space. There we go. And down. So you can see uh, the red sand engine on, and it is pulling stuff out of the chest already, and it's going to drop it right into here. Uh, same thing we're going to do to get 
the ore from this guy over to our furnace. Again, we're going to just put a, put a wooden transport pipe. Put our redstone engine in the little chest right there. And we're going to take it up. And we're going to do the same thing and bring it into the top. Just like that. I want to turn that on. So now, the macerator should go ahead and there it comes. The dust is coming right out of the macerator. It's going to go right into this, this furnace. And lastly, we're just going to do the little wind transport pipe here. It already kind of knows that I'm coming out of the side of here and into this chest. So I can put that there. Another lever down. Turn it on. And hopefully we'll get our... Uh, I don't want to cook the overclockers. <laughs> I don't know what those were doing there. So it's cooking it. There's the bar. Should take it right out. Oh, yep, there it goes. And there's the bar. And there it is in the chest. So now we have a way to get our ore from a chest into this macerator. Brings it over into the furnace and into the chest. And that's all it takes. So, let's see. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to uh, fix some stuff up real quick. So I'm going to tear this down and uh, go ahead and place them back so that I have. My, my little, a little bit of better system. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be making a much, much more complicated system uh, once I move to the new house, and we'll be going over that some too. So, give me just a second. Okay, I got all that cleaned up. Well, the next thing I want to do is uh, run you guys through how to hook up these geothermal generators to uh, to a lava source instead of running all the time and getting a, a bunch of. Uh, uh, lava cells. I mean, it, it can get kind of old and you start using up a lot of your tin and I don't want to keep using up all my tin. So the first thing we're going to build is a pump and we're going to build a build craft pump. There's an industrial craft pump but it's not really as useful. So these guys uh, I can just power them with redstone engines. And these guys I had to bring power cords and if you notice lava is pretty far below us uh, for the most part so I don't want to have to you know, make a bunch of diamond cables so that I can uh, run it all the way down to the pump. It's, it's just kind of crazy. So I'm going to build one of these guys. And you're going to need a tank, which is eight glass, and a mining well, which uh, six iron, iron gear, redstone, and an iron pickaxe. Let's see. I think, actually, I should have everything in here that I'm going to need. Let's make that... Uh, Iron gear real fast. So make an iron gear. Just upgrade your wood gear to a cobblestone or, or a stone gear. And upgrade the stone gear to an iron gear. And just do the same thing with some iron. And there you go. Iron gear. And we'll make our pickaxe. There's a pickaxe. Iron gear, redstone, iron down the sides, and we got our mining well. And then we're just gonna make some glass. And combine the two. And now we've got a pump. The pumps run on the, uh, the redstone engines, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of those. And the other thing we're gonna want is we can't pump fluid like uh, lava or uh, lava or water through these regular transport pipes. We're going to need something called a waterproof transport pipe. And it's pretty much just a stone gear with uh, one little upgrade to it. I'll show you how to make that upgrade. First you're going to need a piece of cactus. Oops, I want to smelt that cactus down. click on the right thing, and we get this cactus green. And all you have to do to make the waterproofing is just put it in your inventory, and you get pipe waterproof. So you're just going to put that above a stone transport pipe, or cobblestone, or gold, or whatever else you can make. You get a stone waterproof pipe. 
And I've already made some of these because I was I was messing around with them earlier. So let's go down, and uh, you can go ahead and see the setup I already have because I'm already filling these guys with lava. And I couldn't wait. I, I was going through so much power that I was like, I, I just got to go ahead and do this. You can see I just feed them right in, feed uh, these these stone waterproof pipes right into the back of my geothermal generators. And it goes way down here. You can see I got a lot of lava stuck in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn these guys off. You can see I've already drained about a block's worth of uh, lava down here. And to get your pump set up, I'm actually going to use this pump for uh, some oil later on. But it's the same principle. All you do is you place the pump over a bit of lava and place, uh, you know, you could put, uh, you could hook these up with uh, stone, or not stone, but uh, uh, steam engines, or you could hook them up with uh, combustion engines. I just use redstone engines because I don't really need a whole lot being pumped out very fast. So, they, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have them stop, but you do the same thing. You pop your, pop your pump down first, make sure it's over the lava, and then uh, just uh, put your your redstone engines down in the, the place and orient them themselves. If you do the two like this, just put a little lever in between, turn it on. Um, I don't think you need this uh, wooden transport pipe like I've got here. I, I think you can get away without that. Or this gold one, uh, it, it just holds more liquid through it. I, I, I was playing around with it and didn't really know what I was doing at first. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've used a pump, so I think you can just go ahead and just use stone waterproofing pipe all the way around. But that's that's how you do a miner. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode there, and uh, hopefully next time I'm going to have a new house, and uh, we're going to be having a lot more fun because I can start putting a lot more stuff in it, and we can get pretty advanced pretty quickly. So, until next time, see you guys then.